Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on Search P6 of TrueSight IT Data Analytics. I'm Neelam Nilje, TSC with BNT TrueSight IT Data Analytics team. In this tutorial, we will see quick access items provided on Search tab, and then we'll take a look at features provided by Search Engine to make our life easy while analyzing logs. At the end of this video, we will be able to analyze log data with the help of features provided on search screen. Prerequisites for this video is to have ITDA setup installed and data collectors configured for those log files you want to analyze. Let's get started. Whenever we log in, we can see a search tab on screen which shows some quick access items let's take a look at it in upper left quadrant we have list of all data collectors that have recently pulled data for search if you click on any of the item in this list it will run the search query for that data collector then in the upper right quadrant we have graph representing amount of data indexed by the product. Then in lower left quadrant, we could see list of workspaces. We can switch between workspaces by selecting it from here. And in the lower right quadrant, we could see list of recently created notifications. As we haven't configured any notifications, the list is empty. Here, for an example, I have created Windows Event Monitor data collector to collect system logs. Let's take a look at it. After selecting this collector, we want to see a data for last two days. The data poll could be seen on the screen. Let's start exploring what all options we have to make our search easy. This is a search bar which is used to specify our search criteria. It is then followed by a time range. Here, after entering a search string, you can select specific time range, meaning if you want to take a look at data for last seven days, you can select it and click on search. Even in some cases, if you want to mention your own time window, you can select custom time and set the time window of your interest and click OK. You can also click pause or stop button next to search bar if any search is taking too long to complete. At the end, you'll find save icon, which helps you to save the search query for future reference or to reflect those search results in view, or even it helps in setting notifications. In the search bar, you can mention combination of values or error codes with the help of logical operators. For example, if you want to take a look at entries having error into it, we can do it by using AND operator and error code. Once we hit enter, we could see entries having error into it are populated in this view. If you also want to take a look at warnings or errors at the same time, just add or operator and warning. So we'll be able to see the records having warning 
or error are highlighted. Now let's take a look at timeline chart. It displays the search results in chart view followed by a list of log entries. Let's see data for all collectors by putting asterisk into the search criteria. You can click the bar charts and drill down to the search results. It means, for example, if you click on this bar chart for 11 December, you'll be able to see data for only 11th December. Else, you can slide the sliders to optimize your time window and head on search to see the entries only in that mentioned time window. In the second half section, data can be presented in two formats. The default is the text view and the other is chart view. In text view, we could see the entries having date timestamp followed by the data. This text view is further categorized into four different views in terms of presenting data. Let's take a look at details view. Over here, we could see data as well as the data being tagged with some fields. This tagging helps us in filtering. If you want to add this level as a filter, you just have to click on yellow folder icon and it will get added into filter pane. At any point of time, you can select the specific error and click on search. We'll have entries with error into it. We can also see the search criteria is being modified to remove this, we can click on cross icon and hit search. Let's take a look at chart view. Chart view is summarized on fields which are tagged in filter pane. Let's take a look at Entries having level in a donor chart format. Here we could see we have three levels of warnings, info, warning and error followed by their count. Just next to this donor chart, we have those values listed in tabular format. Let's take a look at workspace, which you could see on right side of screen. This workspace list down are all the recent search strings. We can tag the recent search strings as our favorite. Even we have other options like we can save a search string with specific name. We can remove it or we can edit existing search string. If you want to run any of the search criteria, you can just go to it and click on run. This will execute the search string and show us the result. We also have workspace provided with menus. We can create new, open existing, rename, delete and save as and also share. We can share our workspace with other users. This is all about Search Basics. For more information about search mechanism, log on to docs.bmc.com. Thanks for watching.